everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today um, I'm gonna make biryani, which is, um, it's not the Koja biryani, so it's more like Pakistani biryani. This recipe is my mother-in-law's recipe and it, it just tastes so amazing. Now with this recipe, I'm going to do things a little differently because it has a lot of ingredients and it has um, some steps that we're not gonna follow. So instead of going through the, you know, what the measurement of, the, uh, of all the ingredients are, I'm just gonna tell you step by step and then on the bottom of uh, this, the YouTube video, uh, in the description section, you will find the full recipe with the measurements and the method of how to do it, just in case if you need to. So let's get started. So first thing what we're gonna do is in my, you wanna use a big pot for this. On medium heat, we're gonna add a little bit of oil and we're gonna start frying up some of our onions over here. This is one big onion that's chopped up finally. And then I have here about six potatoes that, that I have um, peeled and cut them. Now the way I have cut them is I have just cut them in half so that they don't break because these are the Idaho potatoes and they cook pretty quickly. Two, day, two tablespoons of olive oil. Ke be chamcha zaitun nutel. Dungri or onions. Batita canto potatoes. Sukha uh, marcha, betitran, two to three dried chili peppers. One cinnamon stick. Egg, egg, uh, egg uh, cinnamon. So we're gonna fry this. We're just gonna not just kind of keep on um, put. I have it on medium high right now, and you, we want to keep on uh, pan frying this until we see that our onions are nice and softened and a little bit golden brown. And also the potatoes should be about 90% cooked. So we're gonna keep on doing this, and I'm gonna show you the next step. So this is two chickens that I have cut and cleaned nicely. I've washed it. I drained all the water out. To this, we're going to be adding the ginger, garlic, salt, pepper, and the sambal um, or the chili garlic sauce. Ginger or garlic, canto lasan adu, ek chamcho. Ek chamcho sambal, canto. La, lal chutney, one tablespoon of sambal or the um, garlic, red garlic chutney, salt to taste, nimak tamara sabad pramanik, muddy or black pepper, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Mix. <coughs> We're gonna keep this aside. Let let get all the flavors get mixed in. If you have time, make sure that <coughs> you marinate this chicken a little earlier so it'll have more taste in it. So now there's a very important step to this recipe, which is we are going to be roasting the red crushed peppers uh, and the cumin, whole cumin seeds, and then we're gonna be grinding this. 
I think this really makes a difference in the recipe because she told me, you know, she told me, at first she told me the recipe, I made it and it didn't taste like hers. And she goes, wait, I forgot to tell you this. So I tried it the second time and it turned out really good. So you want to have, you know, there's no real measurement for this. You wanna do half a cup of um, cumin seeds and then maybe two tablespoons of crushed red pepper. Now that also depends on how spicy you want, whatever you're gonna be using this concoction in. Cumin seeds. Red crushed peppers. Now, while that's, while this is roasting, we're gonna go ahead and start with our rice. And the rice is gonna be very, very simple. I have four cups of rice that I have washed here and I did soak them and they've been soaking for about 20 minutes here. I do have another saucepan here which has about half a cup of, um, sorry, half of the pot that's full of water. Now to this, I am going to also add just a little bit of oil. And the salt to taste. And then we're gonna add our rice in there. So at this time, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the potatoes and the onions from the pot here and keep it aside, because I really don't want to cook. You can see here that the inside is raw, but the outside is done, which is perfect. So you just wanna keep this aside while we get our chicken mixture together. So we got our rice going. Now we're gonna, we have this almost done. Now we're just going to be starting our gravy with the chicken. <clears throat> Four fresh tomatoes, char fresh tomatoes. So I'm going to be adding um, this Anaheim pepper that I've cut here, which looks like this, and I wanted to show you. I use this Anaheim pepper just because I don't want it very, very spicy. Now, if you want this to be extremely spicy or more spicy, go ahead and add like serrano or um, habanero, whatever you have, whatever you like, whatever you use. I'm gonna show you the rice here, all right? This is how I cook my normal rice, and I really wanted you guys to see it. You see how beautiful the strands are? Um, and you just wanna boil this. Now this is basically 60% done, so I'm gonna let this boil some more, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this with the biryani. One cup yogurt. One teaspoon green chutney, 
एक चम्मची ग्रीन चटनी नमक के सॉल्ट सो वी गोन मिक्स दिस एंड वी गोइंग टू कीप एन आई ऑन दिस what we want to do is we want to have this gravy that you see here we want that to reduce a little bit so we're just going to have this on high here and i'm just waiting for the gravy to reduce a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and add all our spices in point you can see here i tried my rice and it's not completely done it's a little just a little hard which is perfect so now i am just going to take my dollar store um little strainer here which i use all the time and i'm just going to add it to another uh pot here another uh, bowl here so that we don't overcook the rice because this rice is going to go on top of our biryani or chicken mixture <clears throat> you can see here that i have about it's been on the stove for about 25 minutes and there was a lot of water in the beginning you should have seen so now you can see that the gravy has lessened and uh parts of the chicken has already started like it's already cooked but like the legs and the thighs are still not cooked so that's perfect so at this time now we're going to start adding all the other stuff in there two tablespoons ke be chamcha tomato paste अर्ध चमचो गरम मसाला हाफ टेबल स्पून ऑफ गरम मसाला वन टी स्पून ऑफ मैंगो पाउडर और वन टी स्पून एक चमची आमचूर पाउडर एक चमची आप क्यूमिन ब्लैक लाल मरचा नो मिक्सचर वन टी स्पून ऑफ द क्यूमिन एंड रेड पेपर मिक्सचर pinch of saffron kuruk saffron now we're going to add the potato and onion mixture you want to do a taste test at this time because this is the time you want the gravy part to be really nice and tasty rice kanto chokha So I've added all my rice in there. At this time you want the stove to be on complete low. Like you just now we just want everything to kind of mix together and get really nice. Now, I don't have any coriander um chopped cor coriander yet. My husband's going to bring it on his way um from work. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I have this saffron spray that I've been dying to use. Now if you don't have that then just use the saffron put that in a little bit of milk and then just put it on top of the water but because I have this I really want to use it so this is going to give our rice that um color the the half white and half yellow color I'm also at this point going to add my fried onions and then when the coriander leaves come I'm going to chop that up and put that on top I'm going to put this on the stove cover it let it cook really really slowly for about 20 minutes and then I'll show you when it's completely done right so it's a very very quick recipe in this recipe I am not going to be adding any cayenne or any of the green uh, hot peppers or anything because um the biryani that i have is already has a lot of spices and so i just want this to be very cooling for the body so if you're making it and if you want to add like uh serrano chopped serrano peppers in there 
or um, cayenne in it, whatever, you can go ahead and do it, but I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. So here I have dungri or onions, gajar or carrots, cucumbers or kakri, kochmir or coriander leaves, lemon juice or limbo noodle juice nimak or salt yogurt or ding so we're just gonna you want to put add enough yogurt in there whatever as much more or little as you like it's all up to you make sure you do a quick taste test I'm just gonna use the little bit that's left in here. And this is the, a very, very quick raita we've made. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out my other videos and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So our raitu is completely um, done, doesn't take much time. And look at how our biryani turned out. It looks amazing. It's been on low for about, I would say 30 minutes. And I had to take some out because of Sumaya, she um, needed to have some. So now I'm just going to place some on a plate for you to see. The potatoes have cooked up so nice. Okay. All right, look at that. I did forget to mention, I really wanted to show you the type of rice that I used for this biryani. Um, it is the it is the Divaya Basmati rice and it's called Riz Basmati. So I just wanted to show it to you. You can't use any other ones, but this is what I use for this biryani. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my raitu in here. And I like to have a lot of raitu. I really, really like the raita. I just, I think I eat more raita than the rice itself. But as far as the taste test, let's do it. So I, I'm gonna get a little bit of the chicken. And look at how the chicken, the chicken is cooked so, looks so good, so tender. A little bit of the right time here. This is piping hot which I love eating piping hot food. I was a little worried about it getting too spicy. Um, that's why I didn't add the chilies in the raita. But it is a little spicy, but it, and I find it a little spicy because I don't eat spicy at all. But it's not spicy where you're sweating and you're you know wanting to have a ice cold water it's just the spices are really really good it's got a subtle taste it's not something that is going to be super heavy and it just tastes super amazing so please give this a try you know and if you are one of those that thinks biryani is super difficult to make I've tried to make this very simple version for you and I'm telling you it's superb so if you like this video 
give me a thumbs up and please make sure and subscribe share my videos on all social medias if you do make this or anything from Rihanna's cuisine please make sure and um, post it on uh, social media and hashtag it Rihanna's cuisines don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's cuisines hope you can join me here next time with another great video see you then friends